Hi y'all, it's Sophia from ChemTalk and I'm here to take you through the elephant toothpaste experiment. In this experiment, we are going to be decomposing 30% hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water by adding potassium permanganate as a catalyst in this reaction. You can also use 3% hydrogen peroxide. There's just gonna be less foam in the reaction. And the addition of colored dish soap to hydrogen peroxide in this experiment is what's going to make the reaction foam up when the hydrogen peroxide breaks down. So this foamy reaction is what results in the so-called elephant's toothpaste. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this experiment. So now we're gonna take you through the experiment. For this experiment, you're going to need the following items, potassium permanganate, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, a flask shaped container, and food dye, but that's optional. It's also essential that you wear eye protection for your safety. Firstly, you are going to combine the hydrogen peroxide with the dish soap. During this step is when you would also add the food dye if you are choosing to do so. Make sure to stir the solution well. Next, in a separate container, you are going to want to dissolve the potassium permanganate in a little bit of water. For your final step, you are going to combine the two solutions in the flask shaped container. Watch as the reaction takes place. Now it's important to know that the elephant toothpaste causes an exothermic reaction, which means the reaction releases energy in the form of heat. The reaction is going to get hot, so be careful when handling the experiment after it reacts. This is an easy experiment to clean up. All you need is some soap and water along with gloves if you don't want the food dye getting on you. Make sure to always clean up after yourself after doing an experiment. There's more important safety info in the description. That was the elephant toothpaste from ChemTalk. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and like the video and be sure to check out our website at chemistrytalk.org. Come back soon for more amazing experiments and interviews.